Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked up this week. I think let's go through these briefly. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right we have the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Jade, the Visconti Speakeasy, the Visconti St Basil, a Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red, Classic Pens LB5 in the Cal Secchi, a Sailor King of Pen Sakura Nagar, a Visconti Belgica, and last but not least, a Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. So I think let's go through these in a little bit more detail. This is my current workhorse pen. And it's actually quite strange because I used to like broader and stub nibs. I kind of still like broad nibs. I've gone off a little bit of stub nibs more lately. Uh, I'm not really sure why other than I guess I'm taking more meeting notes. And for me... I find a more narrower nib is better. Now, I say narrower, I still do not like most extra fine nibs. Um, this is a fine nib on this Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. But you can see that this is a really beautiful um, pen. Unfortunately, the ribbon that you get in this pen is a little bit obscured once you have ink in the body. But at the moment I have a 23 cap palladium fine nib on this pen and for me this pen writes exquisitely well and I really do love how it writes. Uh, it's There's no crispness to it, there's no feedback as such, although you get a little bit of a feedback I guess on a fine nib the more finer you go. Uh, but for me, this just writes exquisitely well. So I have that inked up this week. I also have the Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi. And again, like this writes really well. The one thing I like about most of these Visconti Homo Sapiens is that they have a clear or semi-clear barrel there. So you can see the ink in the barrel, just sloshing around there a little bit. But this is a beautiful pen to write with. It has a large, sort of around about one and a half, two millilitres. Maybe actually a little bit more. I think it may be, actually it's a double reservoir. It's two and a half millilitres of ink. Uh, but this has a uh, two-tone 23 cap palladium medium nib there. But this is a pen that I love writing with a lot. And then we have another Visconti Homo Sapiens. This is a Visconti Homo Sapiens Jade. Now this is a little bit like the Caput Mundi, a little bit more of an opaque barrel there. It's not a clear barrel like the London Fog, but again, I just love how this writes. Now, I have a 23 cap palladium medium nib there. There's a little bit of ink on the nib, a little bit of a nib creep going on there, but this writes very, very well for me. So I typically find that these pens are really good for me taking meeting notes. And when I take meeting notes, I actually am using either Oxford Optic Paper, which is very fountain pen friendly, uh, or I will use some uh, Sylvine notepad paper, which is almost as good as the Oxford Optic, although I do prefer the Oxford Optic Paper as much as possible. If I'm writing letters, I tend to write more with Tomare River paper. The next pen is a pen that I've had for some time, and this is the Visconti Speakeasy. And this has a red jewel on top, and it's a My Pen Finial Jewel or Birthstone. Uh, I love the size of this pen, I love the facets on the pen. This does have a 23 cap palladium nib and it's a medium nib and it's a very, very bouncy nib. I love the pen in the size of my hand here. It's, for me, the right size, the right girth and the right weight. The only thing that almost put me off buying it was that it only accepts a small cartridge or, in this case, a 
Caveco squeeze converter. But I love the pen and I really do love it. And I do love writing with it. So it's got a very bouncy 23 cap palladium medium nib on there. And then I vowed once I got that that I would never... And the reason why I got this is because I saw the price of the St. Basil's and I realised that I wasn't going to either be able to afford it or afford it in my own mind. My prices on pens have increased slightly and I also got a good deal. So I wasn't going to buy the St. Basil but then I did. <laughs> and this actually not doesn't have a my pen fi, my pen finial on it, but it does actually have a real cut ruby there. So this to me is a really beautiful pen. I like the celluloid, the the blue and the reds and the almost black sort of going on there. But I also like that Saint Basil sort of overlay and I say overlay it's it's actually an inlay but this is a really really lovely pen so I'm glad I was able to add this to my collection and you'll see there that it has a 23 cap palladium medium nib and again it's a nice nib so I just love how this pen writes it's just for me beautiful pen and Okay, you might not take these to the office uh, or to work every day of the week. Um, it also depends on what you do in terms of work. I, I haven't had anybody just pick up a fountain pen off of my desk. Um, I think most people are generally pretty good um, because they can see that these are not probably cheap pens compared to maybe a standard rollable or ballpoint pen. The next pen I have here inked up is my Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red. And all this year I've had a lot of people asking me, will I sell this pen? And my answer is strangely, maybe. Um, I always said that I would never sell this pen. And I like the pen, don't get me wrong. And I, I like how it writes. But for me, if I could get this in a Classic Pens LB5 in the Flame Red, then I would sell this probably in an instant to help pay for that pen. So this has a Bok number 6 size nib on it. It's a medium nib. Uh, it's a cartridge converter pen. I like the size of it, but I prefer the size of the Classic Pens LB5. And I have a Classic Pens LB5 here. It's the this one here. And this is the Classic Pens LB5 in the Kauseki or Metal Ore. And this was made by Sailor. And it has a Sailor nib on it. And I just love not only the material. Both of these materials have diffusion bonded acrylic. But I love the colours. And more so I like the Sailor. King of Pen and this is a Sailor King of Pen it's made by Sailor for classic pens and it comes with a Sailor King of Pen number 8 size nib there now this is a medium nib and it writes more like a fine and sometimes I wish I'd got this with a broad nib and more lately because I've now got a broad nib I actually do like this and I have been writing with more finer nibs so for me I actually like this and I did have a chance of actually swapping this medium nib for a broad nib and it the offer is still on the cards or still on the table but at the moment I do still like that writing with that medium nib because it's a sailor medium nib and it writes more like a western fine and then we have this one and this again is another Sailor King of Pen and this is the Sakura Nagar and I absolutely love this material it's a Mackie and Raden pen it's just beautiful absolutely beautiful so I'm glad I was able to pick this one up 
and this does actually have the Sailor King a pen number eight size nib and it's a broad nib so that writes more between a western medium and a western board I love the size of this it's again like it's not a heavy pen the the Sailor King a pen uh, it's actually lighter than the classic pens LB5 there but I love it I really do love the nib how it writes so when I say that I might maybe sell this one if I could find an LB5 in that red then I would sell that one but until such time I'm keeping hold of that because I will kick myself if I actually sell this pen and then cannot get an LB5 in the red but I love this one as well the Sailor King of pen Sakura Nagar it really is a beautiful pen I just love it I love it now you might think well that pattern doesn't line up there are a number of threads here so you can get that pattern there to line up between the cap and the body but for me that just writes very nicely and then we have this one and it's the Visconti Belgica and this was my first 18 karat gold broad nib and I love it it's a broad nib it writes very broad for a Visconti uh, it has this beautiful overlay crest going on there a lion's crest it's just beautiful and this is a Paravac filler and as you can see there that is the 18 karat gold broad nib but for me this is a beautiful pen I just love it I, I love how the pen looks and writes and it's it's quite a heavy pen as well and I do like heavy pens so I have that one inked up again this week and then last but not least I have this one and this is the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove and this material is really captivating I, I just love the stacked celluloid material uh, you can see there 1912 Monte Grappa and it has the celluloid colored section and then it has the Monte Grappa number eight size shiny lines dove nib this was a Goulet exclusive it's long sold out but it's a beautiful pen and I love writing with it I love pulling it out in meetings it's a medium 18 karat gold nib there so that's my currently inked for this week. I think with that, let's go and do a writing sample. So the first pen that I have inked up is the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog. So I think let's do an ink swatch here. Now, this is a fine nib. So although it is a wet nib, it is a fine nib. So this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog and it's a fine 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is Waterman inspired blue which for me is a, a lovely light blue ink the next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi so again we'll do an ink swatch here and this is a, a wider nib and quite wet as well so it's the Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi and it is a medium again 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is Pelican Edelstein Garnet now I read and hear a lot from people saying that they don't like red inks because red inks scare people off because of having 
their papers marked in school or college or university with red ink would put shivers down their spines. Personally, I love a red ink. Um, doesn't bother me whatsoever. The next pen is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Jade. So again, we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, this is actually a different jade or different green color, I should say, than the actual pen. You can see here, it's quite a different. The ink here is more of a bluey green than a light green is what the pen is. So this is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Jade in a medium 23 cat palladium nib and then the ink in here is Pelican Edelstein Jade but that still is a lovely green ink for me. The next pen is the Visconti Speakeasy. So again, we'll do an ink swatch here. But you'll see that this is quite a wet nib. It's a nib that I love writing with. So it's the Visconti Speakeasy. And it's a medium 23 cat palladium nib. And then the ink in here is Mont Blanc. And it is Corn Poppy Red, which is a beautiful ink. And I always like using that ink with this pen. The next pen is the Visconti St. Basil. So again, we'll do an ink swatch. And you'll see here. Now, this is a medium nib, but I'd say it's a little bit more on the finer side of medium. So this is the Visconti and it's the Saint Basil and it is a medium 23 cat palladium nib and then the, again the ink in here is Mont Blanc Corn Poppy some of my hand oil on that paper there so that's Corn Poppy Red, and that, again, is just a beautiful red. So you can see the two pens there with the ink drying, and you may see a slight difference there in colour, depending on how the nib writes. So the next pen is the Classic Pens LM1 in the Flame Red. So we'll do, again, another ink swatch here. Now... This is quite a wet nib. So it's the classic pens LM1 in the flame red. And it's a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is Blackstone. Uluru red which is a darker red compared to Mont Blanc corn poppy red but it's a red that I do still like using and writing with the next pen is the classic pens LB5 in the Kauseki so again we'll do a ink swatch now this is a more narrower nib And also, I find this ink is quite dry as well. So this is classic pens LB5. 
and this is the Kauseki and it is a medium and this is a 21 cat gold nib and the ink in here is Pilot's Oshizuku and it's Sukushi which basically translates to horse's tail. The next pen is the Sailor King of Pen and this is the Sakura Nagar. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now I probably could put a yellow ink in this pen but I'm not a great fan of yellow inks and I find they write very dry. So I have an orange ink in here which I really do like. So this is the Sailor uh, King of Pen Sakura Nagar and this is a broad 21 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is KWZ Grapefruit which for me is a lovely orangey ink. Now I, I call it orange, some people call it red. Um, it's more of a reddish orange perhaps. I would say perhaps that I, I would certainly class it more as an orange ink. The next pen is the Visconti Belgica. So let's do an ink swatch. Now I would actually say that this broad nib actually writes very closer to a 1.1 maybe a almost a 1.3 stub that's how it, it seems to write to me so this is the Visconti Belgica and it's a broad 18 cat gold nib it's quite a firm nib as well but I do still like how that writes. And then the ink in here is Ackermann. Dutch Masters. I'm going to abbreviate this because it's Cerulean. Blur. Van. Vermeer. Otherwise I would have run out of space. And then last but not least, we have the Monty Grapper. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is quite a lovely nib. It's got a slight bounce to it. I do find it writes more on the drier than wetter side though. So this is the Monty Grapper Extra. 1930 shiny lines and I'm just about running out of ink in that because I have been writing a lot with this pen so we'll do shiny lines dove and it's a medium 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is diamine L Grey which for me is a really nice shade of grey so I think let's go and look at these pens inked up one more time we have a Visconti Homo Sapiens London Fog in a fine 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Waterman inspired blue we have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Caput Mundi in a medium 23 cap palladium nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Garnet. We have a Visconti Homo Sapiens Jade and this is a medium 23 cap Palladium nib inked up with Pelican Edelstein Jade. We have a Visconti Speakeasy in a medium 23 cap Palladium nib inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. We have a Visconti St Basil in a medium 23 cap Palladium nib inked up with Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red as well. 
We have a Classic Pens LM1 Flame Red in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Blackstone Uluru Red. We have a Classic Pens LB5 in the Kawasaki in a medium 21 cat gold nib inked up with Pilot Awasha Zuku Sukushi. We have a Sailor King of Pen Sakura Nagar in a broad 21 cat gold nib inked up with KWZ Grapefruit. We have a Visconti Belgica in a broad 18 cat gold nib inked up with Akamon Dutch Masters Cerulean Bleu Van der Meer. And last but not least, we have the Montegrappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove in a medium 18 cat gold nib inked up with Diamine Earl Grey. So there you have it, that's my currently inked pens for this week. Thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.